Well, beloved, welcome to day five, and those of you who have persevered, let me congratulate you. And our keeners who read ahead in chapter three, now you actually have the opportunity to put that information into context as we continue our devotional series. We'll remember that uh, one of the reasons why we're looking at the book of Judges is because we discover that the people of God were stalled or stayed or inhibited or confined in their progress in terms of the great plans that God had for them. And we looked at some of the reasons for that. Well, the good thing about the book of Judges is that although the large amount of people uh, in terms of uh, the Israelites, who are the people of God, are stalled and stayed, in terms of the book of Judges, there are exceptions to this. And what a, a wonderful encouragement to our hearts that even though when the people of God themselves seem to be stalled, we can still experience God on a personal level. Now, if you've read ahead, you'll know that there are three judges mentioned in chapter 3, which works out pretty good. And um, the, the judges that are mentioned there uh, are Orth Orthneel, and he's kind of a foolish guy. And the third one is Shamgar. And Shamgar was one of the unconventional judges and using the unconventional weapons. But the one that I want to spend just a couple of minutes talking about today is Ehud. Now, if you're looking in your Bibles and you're looking at chapter 3, uh, verse 15, you'll see that God gives Ehud as a judge over Israel to, uh, to cure some of the problems of oppression and uh, staidness that they're experiencing. And there in chapter 3, one of the little quirks of uh, the book is it says that Ehud was a left-handed man. I don't know about you, I, I know that contemporarily left-handedness isn't a disability per se, <laughs> although of course I'm right-handed, which is appropriate. But uh, during the ages past, left-handedness was viewed with uh, suspicion and almost a prejudice. In fact, right up until, I, at least I understand, the Second World War, uh, they didn't make fighter pilots with, uh, who were left-handed because it was seen as a disadvantage or a disability. Isn't it fascinating that God chooses Ehud because of his disability? Now, if you haven't been reading long, you'll know the story. Eglon, who was a king, oppressed the people of Israel and uh, made them pay tribute and all that kind of thing. Ehud, because he was left-handed, strapped a small sword, 18 inches long, on his inner thigh, on his right, um, right thigh, and posed to go and pay tribute to Eglon, got him individually by himself, uh, and because he shook hands with his right hand, he pulled out uh, with his left this 18-inch sword and dispatched Eglon and broke the cycle of oppression for God's people. And so uh, it's interesting, uh, to me at least, that when God is looking to make an exception, when God is looking to move his program uh, ahead, even in spite of the resistance of the people of God to do that, uh, he's willing to look for people who, uh, who generally we wouldn't think of as natural leaders. And he chooses this person because of what's perceived as their disability. So uh, now we're taking out our measuring tape, not to measure ourselves and our contribution to the problem, but now we're going to allow God to measure us. And in this case, maybe what we should be asking is, uh, is what disability we have, what, what problem we have, what, what uh, idiosyncrasy we have that makes us us, is it that God would like to use? Uh, I don't know if you're left-handed, uh, maybe not, but uh, maybe there's something about your character that God wants to use. 
Maybe it's uh, something about your nature that's seen, seen as a disability that God wants you to use. Well, friends, as uh, you spend time reflecting today and as you have the opportunity to be still and know that he is God, I trust that you'll be blessed by this assurance that when God measures us and looks for an opportunity to use us, it's not always the bright, shining, starry kind of elements to our personality that he wants to use, but sometimes it's the very thing we see as a disadvantage or a disability. May God use this all to his glory in his son's name.